Hey everyone, welcome to the third lesson in the course on data manipulation. Here you will learn how to parse text in Integromat using the text parser. So what is text parsing? Text parsing is a common programming task that separates or splits the given sequence of characters or values, text, into smaller components based on a given set of rules. Its uses can be found in simple document parsing to complex natural language processing. Okay, now that we've got the technical jargon out of the way, let's take a look at the scenario that employs a text parser. In this use case, I want to simply retrieve data from a website, get the image links, store the links on a Google Sheet, then download the images and upload them to Google Drive. But before getting into the configuration of these modules, let's go through the other text parser modules that are available. These are Match Pattern, Replace, Get Elements from HTML, HTML to Text, and Get Elements from Text. Certain modules require the use of regular expressions or regex. For instance, in the Match Pattern module, the search pattern required in this field is a regular expression. You will learn about regular expressions in detail in the course on regular expressions. Therefore, in this scenario, I will use a module that does not require the use of it. Since the data retrieved from the website is in HTML and the goal is to retrieve image links, I'll need to use the text parser get elements from HTML module. All right, now let me show you how to configure the modules. In the HTTP Make a Request module, enter the URL of the site you want to retrieve the data from. Then there are different types of methods depending on the action you want to perform. To retrieve data, select the Get option. In the Text Parser module, you have the option to continue the execution of the route even if the module doesn't find any matches. Let's leave it unchecked. Under Element Type, select the Image Tag option so that the module outputs the image link element from the HTML that you can map in the subsequent modules. In the HTML field, simply map the data element outputted by the HTTP module which contains the data that you want to parse. Next is the Google Sheets module. First add or select a connection, then select the spreadsheet and the sheet that you want to add the links to. Now map the attributes SRC element outputted by the text parser module, which contains the image links to the relevant field under values. To download the images, you need to add the HTTP get a file module, and again, simply map the attributes SRC outputted by the text parser module. And lastly, add the Google Drive upload a file module. Add or select a connection, then enter a folder ID or select it from the list. Choose a drive location and the folder location. Under source file, select the HTTP get a file module. That's it. Let's click run once to execute this scenario. So the scenario execution was successful. The data was retrieved from the website. The text was parsed and 11 bundles of data were outputted with each bundle containing the attributes of an image. The 11 image links were then added to the Google Sheet. All 11 images were downloaded from the website and uploaded to Google Drive as intended. So that demonstrates the use of the text parser get elements from HTML module in a scenario. Here's a quick recap on the text parser. Text parsing is a programming task that splits text into smaller components based on certain rules. It can range from simple parsing to complex natural language processing. The match pattern and replace modules use a search pattern that is a regular expression. That concludes this lesson on the text parser in the data manipulation course. Hope you learned something new and see you in the next lesson.